Hello, I'm Clint McDaniel. I'm an epidemiologist with the Molecular Epidemiology and Outbreak Investigations team in the Division of Tuberculosis Elimination at CDC. This presentation will introduce the Cluster Investigation Tool, an Excel workbook designed to help users organize and summarize investigation data. Tuberculosis cluster investigations are a critical part of TB prevention activities. Cluster investigations are a systematic process for determining whether a group of TB cases are related by recent transmission, often defined as transmission of mycobacterium tuberculosis from one person to another in the previous two years. The goal of these investigations is to reduce the burden of TB by identifying when and where recent transmission is occurring and then implementing interventions to interrupt the spread of mycobacterium tuberculosis. Cluster investigations commonly involve several activities, including reviews of clinical and surveillance data for cases, estimation of infectious periods, patient interviews and contact investigations, health record and social media searches, and documentation and synthesis of findings. Collectively, these activities involve collection and processing of varied data from different sources. Characterizing clusters and prioritizing cases and contacts for follow-up and treatment require integrating and organizing these diverse data and repeatedly updating evidence and plans as new information becomes available. Management of cluster investigation data can be relatively easy for smaller clusters. But as clusters get larger and the number of cases increases, management of cluster investigation data can get complicated. To facilitate this process, CDC created the Cluster Investigation Tool, an Excel workbook designed to help users organize and summarize investigation data. The Cluster Investigation Tool uses genotyping and surveillance data routinely collected as part of cluster investigations and uploaded to the TB Genotyping Information Management System, or TBGEMS, as a primary input. TBGEMS is a secure web-based system that stores genotyping data on all TB patients in the United States. Users can export existing data from TBGEMS and copy these data directly into the cluster investigation tool. Additional useful data that may not be captured or available in TBGEMS, such as epidemiologic links, symptom onset, and infectious periods, can then be entered manually. This workflow was set up to minimize manual entry by making use of existing data systems. By interfacing with TBGEMS, the Cluster Investigation Tool helps users to quickly and easily organize, summarize, and assess data of interest during a cluster investigation. The tool makes use of features in Microsoft Excel to automatically generate summary data in real time. This allows users to quickly characterize clusters and make decisions that can inform public health action while eliminating the need for duplicate data entry and tedious recreation of cluster summaries as new data becomes available. The cluster investigation tool includes several features that may be of use during a cluster investigation. The first two tabs in the worksheet are focused on summarizing information about the cluster, including space for the user to write a cluster narrative, such as primary drivers and sites of transmission, as well as set and track an action plan. This can be a great place for investigators to document assumptions about transmission or things to monitor in the future that may not be apparent in the data. The next three tabs focus on case and contact data management. There is a summary case line list of any confirmed, probable, and suspected cases that are part of the investigation. The second tab includes space to document epidemiologic links between pairs of cases. And the third is a contact database that can be used to manage the prioritization and evaluation status of identified contacts. The information from the case and contact management tabs is summarized in the next tabs, which are focused on summary statistics and visualizations. The first tab automatically produces an epidemiologic curve of the cases in the case line list and generates useful descriptive statistics for demographic, clinical, and social risk factor data. There is also useful summary information calculated using the results from the contact investigations. This is a screenshot of the cluster investigation tool. To use the tool, users can import data from TVGEMS. To demonstrate how the tool works, we'll look at some hypothetical data on the following slides. 
by pasting it directly into the TB Gems case line list worksheet. Data and other worksheets will then auto populate. For example, the summary case line list worksheet presents a streamlined summary of surveillance data that includes demographic, genotypic, clinical, and social risk factor data deemed most informative for cluster investigations. Columns with red headers are auto populated using formulas. And users can also manually enter data not available in TV gyms. Examples of these include identifiers such as names and dates of birth, and clinical data such as dates of symptom onset and infectious periods. In the case pair line list worksheet, users can enter information about epidemiologic links between cases including link type and strength, associated location, and relationship between cases. In the contact list worksheet, users can enter information about contacts identified through the investigation, including medical risk factors and dates and results of tests for TB infection. This information can facilitate prioritization of contacts for follow-up. The tool also contains multiple tables and figures that auto-populate to produce summaries of cluster investigations. For example, the Epi Curves and Tables worksheet contains an epidemiologic curve that updates in real time as data are added or modified. The tool provides tabular summaries of important demographic, clinical, and social risk factors for cases, and tabular summaries of the results of contact investigations, including the percentage of contacts evaluated who have a positive TB test, percent positives by case, and the status of the evaluations. This information can facilitate tracking of persons who need follow-up and of contact investigations that should be expanded. The Infectious Period Timeline Worksheet contains a timeline template that can be used for simple reviews and visualizations of overlaps in infectious periods and stays in specific locations. To explore more complicated time series data for overlaps in time and place, users can utilize the LATTE tool described in another video in this series. The Cluster Investigation tool is designed so that users can easily input existing data from TB gyms, add additional data collected during case or contact investigations, and automatically populate summaries and visualizations that are helpful for guiding public health action. We recommend that users regularly review the data for accuracy and completeness. This will ensure the most accurate results and conclusions are achieved in your investigation. The tool and various tabs can be utilized as needed to fit the needs of the investigation. Another important benefit to highlight is that the cluster investigation tool can accept personally identifiable information since the tool is run locally on the user's computer. This is a nice feature when reviewing and assessing the data. Finally, the tool has been designed to organize the data in a manner that allows for easy input into other molecular epidemiology tools for understanding TB transmission. The cluster investigation tool can be downloaded at the URL shown here. Additional information and resources on utilizing genotyping and whole genome sequencing data for public health investigations are also available. Users can also send questions by email to tbgenotyping at cdc.gov. We would like to thank the Division of Tuberculosis Elimination for support in developing the cluster investigation tool.